coach big one tonight. Just how big does this feel for you guys for the program? Well, I'm really proud of uh, our kids. You know, we bounced back after a tough loss at Marshall, and uh, you know our kids have done this all year long. We've had some tough losses, and we've came back and, and responded. And uh, I knew it was going to be a grind out game. I say it all the time. It's going to come down to those last two or three minutes, and uh, it's the teams that make make the plays. But uh, what a great effort by our guys uh, to play a you know terrific Southern this team. It's one of the best teams we've played this year. And, uh, I thought we really responded. We were down there uh, in the last five minutes there, I think five or six, and we found a way to, to get the victory. So I was really proud of the team. Felt like this one came a lot of the way on the back of the defensive performance of this team. The energy on that, that side of it looked least better than it had in a few games. Yeah, least. absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, and that's true, Paul. I think in you know, the second half we talked about we lost the game at Marshall because we didn't get stops the way our offense. Uh, you got to get stops, and, and I thought our guys we went man and uh, we made some big time toughness plays and rebounds and blocks and loose balls and, and deflections, and you know we, we really battled, and uh, that's what you have to do. You're, this is a, a type of team when you play Southern Miss, you're gonna have to play ugly uh, the way they play. They're they're undersized, they're tough, they they play that tough zone. And they're very physical, and uh, so it was a really hard matchup. And there's a reason they've won ten in a row, and, and you know they're one of the better teams uh, in the country here. And uh, it was a great win for us. Coach, what have you seen out of uh, Matt Williams' development that he's able to get so many minutes tonight and he's getting to see more time on the floor? Well, he's, he's healthier, and uh, he's physically gotten his strength back. And uh, you've seen him. I thought he played very good defense tonight. He had some good rebounds. You know, making shots was just a part of what he can do. I didn't recruit him just to be a shooter. As I told him, you're a basketball player. And, and I thought he was very solid out there. He brings a threat with his ability to make shots at any time. And, uh, and I thought he was able to stay in the game because he was able to rebound the ball and defend. Uh, and we know what we're going to get from him offensively with the way he can shoot the ball. Coach, it might have been a little bit more breathing room there. You guys have been a little bit better from the free throw line, but Isaiah, 0 for 4 for the night, steps up with 14.6 left and sinks them both. Um, what does that say just about him um, to be in that moment and, and considering where he's coming his career from the line too? Yeah, well, he's come a long way. You know, he missed a few there. He played hard, played 40 minutes. You know, he never come out of the game. And, uh, he was all over the floor. If it was in the stands or in the bleachers or, you know, on the sideline, whatever, he, he got knocked down, I think, every other possession. But, uh, but you know what, he went to the line and uh, when it counted, uh, we had to put the ball in his hands. I still got confidence in him uh, to make plays. And uh, he made some big plays down the stretch, not only the free throws, but he made some big passes, big scores, and when it mattered, he got a big tip down the stretch there for breakaway that Calvin got the dunk on. So just he just impacts the game. Uh, he's just a winner and knows how to win. And uh, it's hard to draw those things up in the huddle or teach guys how to play that way. He's just got that special grit inside of his heart that he can really compete. Uh, Coach, can you talk about Tristan you know, down the stretch? He scored a lot, and a lot of energy buckets too. And in a game where that was so intense, he seemed to really be doing a good job of matching that intensity. Well, the big stat is you see 17 second chance points. And, you know, Tristan had five offensive rebounds uh, and a part of that. He had a big dunk there that, that really got our energy going. And uh, you know he's finding other ways to score for a team, and I think that's the thing he's got to continue to do. He hits some big threes, but but he also got him inside, and I think that's the difference in the second half. Our defense held him to 27 percent from the field, and they were one of nine from the three-point line in the second half. So we won the game with defense, and I thought with offensive rebounding, uh, and I think Tristan was a big part of that. Talk about Keith's contributions with the seven blocks, particularly that one at the end, getting the hand on that three-point attempt. Yeah, well, Keith impacted the game. You know, he had five field goal attempts, and you know, it's just tough getting him certain looks in there. He's got to continue to find ways to help our team win. Had nine rebounds, seven blocks, as you mentioned, but uh, I thought he gave us a good defensive effort uh, in the game, and uh, and obviously he brings attention, so that still opens things up for Tristan Spurlock, Matt Williams, Z. All those guys out there bring something different that draws attention. So that that's what makes our matchups hard sometimes. Is you got five guys who can uh, score for you. What does this win do for the team? I know they're disappointed after uh, last week in Huntington, but sure. obviously the goal remains to win the league. And you know Southern Miss came in hadn't hadn't lost a game. You know does this really boost the confidence going forward? Well, I hope so. I mean, this is you know probably the, one of the two best teams in this league, and uh, you know Marshall has top one or two talent in this league right now and just hasn't been able to put it together and thought they played extremely well against us and night in and night out you know you got to be able to bring your best and uh, you know I thought tonight playing against a, a team like Southern Miss 
Uh, it was a great confidence builder, I hope, for our team here because, you know, we got a lot of young guys on this team that, uh, that's, that's, that was a part of this. But, but I think that uh, uh, this Southern Miss team is going to continue to win a lot of games, and we're going to have to go back down there and play the last game of the season. If you want to be in that upper top four fighting for the first place, you got to be able to win your games, especially at home. Uh, Coach, you talked a little bit about Keith. You know, he he had uh, six points today, but he was only fifty percent from the free throw line. How big is his free throw game going to be going down the stretch of the season? Well, I think his free throw game is big because he's going to get fouled a lot and we're going to get touches. But you know, we were sixteen for twenty eight, which wasn't good. But you know, I think fatigue played a part of that tonight. Those guys played a lot of minutes. A very physical game. Uh, I told him before the game, every possession would be a foul, either it was called or not called. And there was a lot of physicality going on out there. Uh, there was bodies every time the ball went up, they were getting knocked to the ground or bowed or hit or whatever. So you know, the whole thing is don't come to the huddle talking about getting fouled or hit. I don't want to hear it. You know, you just got to play through it right now and find a way to get it done. And they did. East Carolina on Saturday now come back at home and trying to keep the momentum here and stay the pace. Of course, you had a great, tough game with them the last, first time you played them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're, they're playing much better. and um, You know, they have a, a very good team. and got a lot of guys can shoot the ball. Uh, you know, we had that big lead up there. and uh, We lost it down the stretch and lost it to Buzzer. But uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us again. Uh, another opportunity to play them the second time here. And, uh, and we want to make sure we take care of home court. You know, we have five of our next seven games right here in this building. And so we need to take care of home court here right now. And, and then, uh, you know, worry about getting on the road next week. But another great opportunity. We're going to cherish this one for a little while. All right, we've got a few more hours, but we will be back on East Carolina tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. Thank you.